changed behavior without a changed mindset is a disaster waiting to happen. What's going on, everybody? This is your man, Lucky. I'm back with another one. Listen, fellas, ladies, pay attention. We have got to stop ignoring the red flags in the very beginning. Forget about the relationship I'm talking about before it even gets to the point where it's a relationship. See, listen, we like what we see. We want to be in a relationship. We're tired of being single. That apple pie is good. They look good. Or maybe they got a little money or they treat you nice. And so what happens is you start to ignore the little red flags, the little things that are problematic because they seem so minor, but you don't want to not address those issues. I'm gonna come back to addressing the issues, but you at least want to acknowledge the red flags. Do not overlook them because what you overlook today, you will pay for tomorrow. The small things grow into bigger things over time. Whatever it is that you don't like that this person does, whatever it is, whether it's hanging out late, whether it's partying, drinking, girls night out and the hot girls, summer girls trips, sleepovers and whatever else they do. Ladies, your guy go to the club and he hang out late with his homeboys and, you know, maybe he going to the little to the little uh, nudie bar and you don't like that. But you kind of overlook those little things because you know you figure that they're small or they're this or they're that or one of the things that you figure is that okay well they're doing it now however as things progress between us they're going to stop no it doesn't happen like that look it's one thing that you must understand is that you cannot control someone else nor can you change someone else they are who they are they are going to be who they are going to be. You can't change them. Therefore, you must govern yourself accordingly. Don't get caught up in a relationship and deal with all of the things that are deal breakers or deal with the things that you just don't like, you don't accept. Don't wait until you're already deep into the relationship and now you can't take it anymore and and now you want to address the issue because now you can't even address the issue because it's the new standard if you did not set the standard in the beginning then whatever type of behavior you allow throughout the relationship that is the new standard this is why you got to set your standards and lay down your boundaries in the very beginning as soon as something happens it must be addressed. If you just let it go on and go on and, and, and sweep it under the rug and act like it didn't happen, you're going to regret it. It's almost a guarantee. I've always said, fellas, let her be her. Ladies, I'm telling you, let that man be that man. If you see an issue with their behavior, it's not up to your standards. It's not up to par as, as, as violating one of your boundaries or whatever the case may be. Don't try to change them. You can't change them. You let them know that that behavior is not up to par and then you part ways. This is my suggestion. This is why all issues have to be addressed in the beginning before you even get to the relationship stage. See, look, this is what usually happens. We overlook the issues. We invest our time, energy, resources, and all of that kind of stuff into the woman or into the man or into the relationship as a whole. And then when the issues go from being small issues to being big issues, then we decide we want to address them. By then it's too late. You've already accepted this type of behavior. And so now the behavior that you've been accepted is the standard. You can't flip on it now because anything you try to enforce now that is different than what you have already accepted, you're going to be looked at as like, yo, you switching up, you becoming controlling or whatever the case may be. You know how I go. If you address something after the fact, now you're being insecure. OK, and listen, let me tell you something, man. If you addressing an issue and your partner tells you that you're being insecure, in my opinion, that within itself is, an, is a red flag. When you're in a relationship, you should be able to express, yo, this is an issue. That's an issue. They're invalidating what it is that you're saying. And um, in my opinion, that's a that's a big red flag. Right. 
But listen, this is why I say all of this stuff must be addressed in the very beginning and pay attention. This is very, very important. In my opinion, the best way to go about addressing the issues are sitting back, knowing what your standards are, knowing what your boundaries are, let them be known and let them be them, period. See, because what happens is when you start trying to correct their behavior what they're going to do is they're going to understand oh okay they want me to act like this they want me to act like that so i will go ahead and i will change my behavior now you're looking at it like okay well yeah that's what i want i want them to change their behavior but no because behavior can change from one thing to another thing at any point in time see changed behavior without a changed mindset is a disaster waiting to happen because if the mindset didn't change then the behavior is gonna come back the behavior is going to reappear because the mindset hasn't changed see when you're telling somebody to change their behavior because you don't accept this and you don't accept that you're giving them the answers to the test so you don't know if they're changing for real or if they're changing for you if they're changing for you at any point in time they can change back for them their mindset hasn't changed that's why i say you sit back and you let them be them let them show you who they are anybody can act listen actors get in front of a camera all day long and they get into character they read the script they know the lines they, they they do what they have to do and that's it you think those characters that you see on tv and in movies and all of that like that's really who they are no they're acting they have a script what you're doing is you're giving them the script but i'm telling you if the mindset does not change with the behavior you're going to get the same behavior at some point in time again in the future period you can't listen i've tried i'm gonna be totally honest with you i've tried it i've tried to like be that guy who i really wasn't and it tore me up inside it tore me up internally and whenever i got to a certain point the real me always came out whether it be you know some type of issue some type of something that would just you know trigger me i guess the real me would come out like the, the guy I was pretending to be was gone and who I really was came out. So you have to understand that when, when you try to change somebody else's behavior and the mindset hasn't changed, the real them is going to come out from time to time. And that's just what it is. You know how they say you could take them out the hood, but you can't take the hood out of them. You see this with actors. You see this with um, athletes. You see this with celebrities and stuff like that. They get all this money. You know, they move out of the hood, go, go, you know, move to a nice neighborhood and all that. And then a year or two later, they get jammed up doing some type of foolishness that they ain't had no business doing. Why? Because their mindset had not changed. They took that same mentality and just moved to another place. They, they, they tried, they acted, they tried to fit in, they tried to pretend, they tried to, eventually the old them came back out, period. Their mindset had not changed. And this is why you gotta be careful. This is why I don't believe in trying to change somebody. I sit back, I let them be who they are. And if they are not who I need them to be, then I just gotta let them go. I'm not gonna give them the answers to the test. I'm not gonna tell them, yo, yo, I don't like when you do this. I don't like when you do that. And I don't like when you do that. And I don't like when you do this. Now, when it comes to your standards, right? You gotta set them when it comes to your boundaries, you gotta lay them down. And I get it. From time to time, you're gonna have to correct certain type of behavior. Now, I will say this, when it comes to disrespect, you never accept disrespect. The reason why you don't accept disrespect is because any behavior that you accept now becomes the standard. So now I know y'all like, well, you know, if I'm with somebody and they doing things that I don't like, that's not the person for you. Like it's too much work. Listen, I have enough trouble working on me. I have enough trouble keeping me grounded. I have enough trouble keeping me on point i have enough trouble keeping me straight now i'm supposed to keep me straight and then try to keep somebody else 
street according to what my street is nah you let them be them changed behavior without the changed mindset is a disaster waiting to happen in order for somebody to change that mindset is what has to change if not they're going to revert back to that behavior that is problematic for you it's not your job to fix people people have to fix themselves however they see fit whether it be i don't know however they fix themselves so you gotta understand this stop trying to change people because all it is is they're going to change on the outside they're going to change their behavior in order to get in good with you get in in your good graces and all of this kind of stuff eventually if the mindset hasn't changed later on down the line when you're in a relationship when you married and all of this kind of stuff that old them is going to come back out that bad behavior or that unacceptable behavior is going to come back out stop trying to change people that's just it accept them for who they are and know who they are and know what you have to do you can't control them but you can control yourself you just gotta let it go this is why you gotta do it early don't wait until you're so invested into the relationship to start trying to address things don't wait until you're knee deep into the relationship that now you want to um if they don't change their behavior you you want to pick up and leave or maybe you talk to them about it and they change their behavior but two or three years later they went back and now you stay listen take your l in the beginning sit back and be quiet sit back and watch and see who they are naturally organically without you trying to correct this and correct that and all of that we're dealing with adults you can't just be trying to correct everything because listen who am i to say she can't go out and do this and do that and all this kind of stuff if that's what she want to do go ahead i want somebody with a different mindset i want somebody that at least is going to say well you know what hey i'm in a relationship and so i'm going to move like this and i'm going to move like that i can't force anybody to move any particular way move how you want to move so that's what it is that's 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 pretty much what it is now when it comes to you as an individual and the things that you like and you know little things like that yeah you can kind of direct and you can influence somebody as to well i like this or i like it like that or whatever but i'm talking about when it comes down to the real deal the real meat and potatoes of everyday life you know what i'm saying character traits you know how they treat you how they talk to you respect things of that nature loyalty things like that nah they got bad character traits let it go before you in too deep i'll catch y'all on the next one